Hello! Hi guys, my name is Sinjay and welcome back to the Cornerstone SMP. In our last episode guys, we built our first shop. Yeah, we finally got our first shop on the server. We built up a witch shop, which is the goal of, you know, accompanying our witch farm that we've got a way out over there. Um, and it's been, yeah, pretty good so far. Yeah, not too bad. It's been a couple weeks since, since the last episode, so I've been having to like fill up and stuff. But, as you can probably see from here, things look somewhat different yeah i have been a busy bee shall we say um i have been cleaning up the island um in preparation for things that we're going to be doing today yeah um as you can see everything's gone the farm's gone all the chests are gone the furnace array's gone and even the bee farm's gone yeah um the actual well honey farm technically the bee farm's downstairs the honey farm's been moved because this is all going to be getting stripped back i know after we built it in here and we set aside in a perfect area. This is all going to be going, and uh, the actual honey farm has moved down to where the bee farm is. But I will show you guys in a bit. But first things first, I want to head over to the shopping district um, because I actually want to see how our shop is actually doing because I've not been on the server in a couple of days. And as we are heading to the shopping district, welcome to my new nether tunnel. Yeah, this is my portal to go to, to my area. And yeah, this is my new nether tunnel. I'm finally connected to the actual nether hub, guys. Yes. Um, I believe it was, it would have been probably last week now, it was Bodhi, Polifo and myself came through here and we finally connected me up with the rest of the Nano Tunnels as you can see here. Finally, it has taken a lot of while but it's good, it's finally done and oh man, it feels so much better to actually be able to use uh, an actual tunnel instead of having to go underground where we were here, obviously here but beside Polifo and we had to go under there and that, yeah it was a bit of a pain but we're finally got our own nether tunnel um, and as I say we did that actually did it on stream um, and if you're not following me it is twitch.tv slash zinji underscore gaming um, and I do lots of cool stuff over there I try and live stream as much as I can but um, as I say if you're not following me fire over there and we do a lot of cool projects anyway this is the shop guys for anyone who missed last episode this is our witch shop there's also something I want to do with this today as well um, I had a suggestion a suggestion on what I could swap the the birch wood out for because I'm still not happy with it um, and I'm going to implement it today and have a look but let's have a wee look to see if we've made any more sales oh ho three diamonds you know what it's not the bet most but you know what I'll take it uh, sugar redstone sticks and um, spatterize no nothing more than that cool okay let me just pop this is all the my little chest for my how many diamonds I've gotten so far not too bad I mean 11 is not the greatest but you know what it's not the worst it's not the worst um, as I say, I do want to swap out um, a couple of the blocks here um, and to see how it looks, but I'll need to actually grab what was suggested to me um, and I don't have it on me. Of course I don't have it on me. Let me grab it. Right, blocks acquired. <laughs> what was suggested to me was smooth sandstone, as you can see I have in my hand, yeah. So I had a comment um, by Adam uh, who said, you know, let me try some smooth sandstone. It might be a bit better than the birch. Um, mainly because, yes, it's the same sort of colour, but the birch has quite a lot of texture in it with the smooth sandstone, as you can see. It doesn't have as much. You know, it has a little bit, but it doesn't have as much as maybe the birch does. So I think maybe we should swap out the, the birch for the smooth sandstone, and we'll see kind of how that goes. Right, birch swapped out, smooth sandstone swapped in, and yeah, it kind of looks better. I think it looks weird to me because I'm used to seeing you know, the birch in place, because <laughs> it's been like two, you know, two and a half weeks since I actually built the shop, um, and seeing a different block in there in place, the birch, you know, that's sort of going to how you have a way to look, let's just land on out the shop actually, that'll maybe be a bit better, um, yeah, so not, obviously not seeing the birch, it just looks, it looks really weird to me, um, I think it definitely works, it works a bit better, I think the birch was maybe just a little bit, um, not so much dark in contrast with the, the white terracotta, but it just, it didn't look right for me somewhere, um, so I thank you Adam for your, your suggestion. Um, I think that has definitely helped the build out a lot more uh, and it makes it look a bit better as well. So yeah, thank you for your suggestion mate. It's, it's always helpful when you know when you guys comment down below with suggestions of your own to help me out and I fully, fully appreciate it. Yeah, I do. But anyway guys, let's head back to the base because as I say, we have things that we want to do today. Right guys, we're back over at our island and as I was saying at the beginning of the episode, I have been a busy bee in between episodes just sort of clearing the place up, making it look a bit tidier and getting ready for what we're Hopefully we're doing this island today, um, as well as the nether portal. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of different stuff. I, I feel that if I get one up here, actually, I can just show you guys. Um, probably not three, because you probably know, but the the area is not very well developed. You know, we're what four months into the into the server, and this is all I have to show for it in my area. And this is not even good. I don't even like this. Uh, well, I like it, you know, but like I don't like it. It's nowhere near finished. It's it's maybe like one fifth of the way done, not even. Um, in unfinished projects 
frustrate me. <laughs> yeah, they do. Um, so I, I want to start developing the area. I'm maybe not working on the volcano right now because I still have a lot to work out in my head what I want to do with the volcano itself, but I want to start focusing on this island and start building things up slowly. So start small and then aim for big. Um, I know we've done a massive amount to the volcano already, but there's still a lot obviously I need to do to that, but there's still a lot I need to figure out as I say. So I'm going to start over here today. Yeah, I want to get this island at least starting to look like what I had, you know, um, sort of vision wise in my head and I'm going to be starting over here today with the nether portal and the, the island that's on. But I want to show you guys a few things that I have been doing in between episodes. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, we moved the honey farm down into where our bee sort of breeding room is, as you can see. I just sort of jazzed up a little bit, used the honey blocks, honeycomb blocks. Oh, that's quite cool. I know I have two on, but this is to remind me where my door is to be able to get in behind. But yeah, it looks looking quite cool and we've got a decent supply sort of coming in. And I've got all just chest holding on my bee hives and stuff. It's just so everything is contained in the one area. But I've been doing a lot more downstairs as well. And as you can see downstairs, it's had quite the cleanup. Yeah, I have, as I say, you would have seen all the chests were removed up from there. I've also removed all the chests from the treehouse. And um, my storage is now down here. Yeah, it's not automated. It's just like a, uh, you know, a bog standard um, storage. It, but you know what? It's working for me right now. Um, it's something I didn't have. It's something I now have. And I've got all the, you know, everything I need sort of down the front. And then I have my furnace array down here. Well, I call it a furnace array. It's just what I had upstairs. But at least it's been moved down. It's out of the way. We have our bone meal maker down here, which I think I had before. Um, I've also changed what's happening with these farmers as well. And you may be wondering what I mean by that, but if you glance just across the other side there, you will see I now have villagers actually sitting behind and we have a double hopper minecart with a hopper underneath and a chest underneath the floor. And as you can see here, I've blocked off the rest of these, so only this guy is now giving these two villagers the appropriate food. So we have breeding villagers constantly now. Um, and these three guys, I've got a villager in here now, and he has a villager over there. This guy has a villager over there. He th throws his carrots at, and this guy has a villager there. He throws his carrots at. So we have a perfect sort of farming area now, in a way. Um, the only thing I need to work out is this guy keeps making the wheat on the bread and throwing the bread. Um, and yeah, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't remember why does that and why it's not wheat, but it's something I need to work out. But yeah, everything has been now sorted. It's just little things I wanted to get sorted. But one of the jobs I do want to do, maybe not today, is actually link the guy up there, the guy up there, and the gap here to a sorting system so it pulls all the carrots in. Because currently, all we have is this. One chest per villager. And that ain't going to cut it. No, as you can see, this chest is just for the guy It's I was pointing to originally. And it's almost full and once it gets full you know then we're kind of sort of probably going to be in trouble uh, and i only have one chest under each of the individual villagers so yeah we definitely need to get in here and make a proper sorting system for these um i need to figure out why the guy's making bread first though but yes i want to be actually keeping the carrots i want to be keeping the wheat when it becomes free or the bread or you know we can make a lot of bone meal and stuff but yeah the one chest ain't going to cut it um but it is what it is just now i suppose until we get it fixed another thing i have been doing is been trying to find diamonds and welcome to my strip mines <laughs> yeah i have been mega mining um shall we say i got a couple of weekends i bought them off body and i said i had them set up and i have just been blitzing through and get as many resources diamonds you know you name it i mean i've already cashed a lot of the diamonds but i've got 10 diamonds already sitting here this slime's just from slime that's been spun i've been killing as i've been going so i've not even bought this um from from polito's shop this has literally been as i've been going and this is all the iron stuff i've got yeah i have loads and loads of stone resources yeah i've just been gathering up Hoarding a little bit just for future projects that also we have coming up. Um, so yeah, this is what we started doing between between episodes. But anyway, we have things to do today, as I say. And the first things first things first is to get to the Nether Portal. I want to build the island up. Um, it's not sort of we're in the Nether Portal, but I, I want to build like a little island up. The Nether Portal is going to sit on, and then we're actually going to use the island to connect to the our island, um, and it's all going to become one. Right. So as I was saying, guys, what we want to do is we want to build this up yeah i don't want this to be like this anymore no <laughs> i actually want to probably rip this part out right here so all the the sort of sand that we have sitting right here fine fine there we go <laughs> i want to sort of rip out the sand that we sort of have here and i would actually like to build the island probably close to what it is you know size wise i like to build it up at least to the height of the, the actual nether portal if not maybe a block higher and then once we have it, you know, built up on all sides, then I want to move the nether portal up to the top. And then what we're going to do is we might build this out slightly. We might leave it as it is because it actually kind of works as it is. 
and then we're actually going to put a bridge connecting hopefully from this island because by the time you know we have the island built up we're going to be about here so by the time we you know it won't be that much of a big bridge it's not going to be from the airport it's going to be from over here and then we'll be able to put maybe a bridge connecting from this part over to here at least up to there um then as far as part is the treehouse is going to have to go i know we've had it since episode one but it is going to have to go it was always temporary and it's going to have to go um at some point but i want to crack on and get this island started um, and at least try and get it built up a little bit progress is being made yeah we are definitely starting to build this up and it's starting to look really nice i'm glad i sort of took this whole section away the only sort of problem i have is the back side um it's, it's, it's rather steep and there's not really much i can do with it unless i build all this up um i don't particularly want it because i actually like how steep it is it's just the back end of this is quite steep falling off but I, I reckon i could probably sort it maybe when i put the top on but yeah this is actually meant to get out of the water here and i can show you please get the water thank you uh if we just have a wee sort of fly by you can see it yeah it's looking good i mean i've only just used stone um to begin with, I obviously want to incorporate maybe like cobblestone stuff in as well. Uh, but it is starting to come together. I like how the, the sand and the, the slabs and stuff just add. It looks like it definitely should be there, you know, like it has naturally formed. But once I get the cobblestone in and then we get the dirt on top and then we actually build the portal on top and we build what's going to go around the portal and that, I reckon it's going to look much better. And then once we get the bridge connected up, it should look pretty cool. But this is a good beginning. Um, but I want to get um, more done, so let's try and get the cobblestone in um, or texturize the, the walls a little bit so it's not all stone and I'll try and get the dirt on top as well and we'll see how it looks then. And with the dirt now on top, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It is looking awesome. Let me just see if I can land up here. Ow, no. <laughs> Fail. Yeah, no, it is looking really cool. Um, I've gone in ahead and got some like mossy cobblestone and that as well and just integrated into the actual um, hill itself just underneath where the... You know, the grass would be, so it makes it look more authentic and more sort of realistic. Um, I've got a couple of little bits, obviously, I've still got a lot of what I kind of want to do, a little bits and bobs in here, but yeah, it's looking really nice. It's looking really nice. If we just got enough, actually, can think I maybe get a wee better, better of a look of it. Yeah, it's looking really cool. Obviously, I need to put the nether portal back in, uh, which is what I'm going to do next, uh, just in case someone comes through the nether portal and it then generates where we don't want it to generate. But this is looking quite cool. I've still got a little bit more I want to do. And there's still something I want to add to one of the sides, but I want to get another portal back in first. And as you can see, we now have the nether portal back in, but not only that, we've also decorated the island. Yeah, it looks looking so much better now. Um, I love just the addition of, because I went just around and bone mealed the ground, and the addition of the leaves definitely adds a, a different sort of vibe to the island, makes it look a lot more kind of abandoned, but well yeah sort of abandoned you know more overgrown the portal i really like i like the the, the you know the design of what we've got the only problem i have is is it sort of blends in with the, the under you know part of the island the actual um, base part of the island that we obviously we've built up if we land up here let's have a look from a distance I mean, yeah it looks great it looks really cool and as i said the gray against the gray yeah i may have to swap this out for maybe like black stone or some other color it's just not the same you know shade of gray because it kind of merges in and that's not really what i want i want it to look sort of different i was going to go with your typical sort of nether portal you know themed build where you know everyone tends to use like nether brick stuff i didn't want to do that i wanted to stay away from that um you know I've done, i'm sure everyone's done that in the past at some point you know based on nether portal design round something in the nether i could have had this island you know get infected by the nether itself but no no i want to stay away from that sort of thing and um, i want to go for something a bit neutral something that would be in the overworld so maybe like these you know this ancient civilization that we've had it's gonna be it's in this area they actually built this and this is how they, they were able to travel to between worlds was the nether portal and this is why it's on this island and stuff but yeah it's looking really cool i, I don't have lanterns around as well and i've also got hidden lighting just so nothing should spawn on the island i haven't done it strategically so i've not gone around and checked the whole island to make sure you know there's no spawning spots at all but it does look really cool but there is one more thing i do want to add to that and i'm hope fingers crossed it's actually going to make the island pop a little bit more than it currently does because don't get me wrong it looks really cool but there's more i can add to this uh, and if you have noticed in the hot bar i might give it away but yeah i want to grab some more blocks i want to get some jungle leaves and yes what i want to do is i actually want to build a tree either probably this side yeah probably one sort of protruding out of this side to that way and then i'll maybe want one just sort of at the back sort of curving up and i would like just two trees on the island but they're not gonna be any sort of trees this whole area i think we're gonna we're sort of basing it off um sort of you know pacific hawaiian you know that sort of style build so i would like to actually build a 
like a a pantry. That's that's the word, pantry. So I like to build a pantry, and as you can see, I'm mean, using composters now. Composters are absolutely great. Yes, the utility block, but personally, I think you know, as a block in a hole for using for this sort of build, amazing. I absolutely love the composter for this sort of build. Now, what I would like to, I would like to get some curvature in this. So even just placing composter like that, and maybe trying to add a little curvature in it, um, and then get up to come about here, that would be great. Um, but as I say, I want to put one on the other side of the island. So I don't just want one. I want to. I want sort of you know breaking up so it looks a bit better. But I'm going to see if I can try and work out how we'll get this in, um, and hopefully it looks cool. And look cool, indeed it does. Yeah, we have finished it, guys. Look at our little island. It's looking cool. Oh, I'm loving it so much. Those trees just add so much. Hello, I'm trying to record here, dude. Those those trees just add so much more to this little island here. I've added a couple of flowers here there as well, just to break up the color. I feel now that I probably don't have to change the gray. I was going to, but then I've added the vines in just as an extra green, and I've also added a couple, just a little flowers right there, just so you notice the red and the yellow. It just breaks up enough where you're like not overwhelmed by gray. Um, I might still depend on how I feel, but I like this a lot better than I did, you know before shall we say but the trees add to this island this island is now complete this looks awesome i am loving this i'm loving this and this is obviously the star we're going to be going for for all these islands and everything around here um what i want to do now is i actually want to build the bridge that i'll link this little island or another portal island to this island and this is about the height i'm probably going to have it i know these are almost a, a exactly identical like height for blocks so i want to have a ridge connecting from here to here i think that's probably going to be best Yes, let's do that. I'll have a bridge connecting from there to there. And we have our bridge now connected, guys, and this is looking sweet. I absolutely love this. It looks so cool. It fits in with the build palette we've got going and the design perfectly well. Even just the unfinished volcano in the background makes it look so awesome. Once this, once this is finished in the background, oh man, this is going to look so cool. And of course, this is only just the start. You know, we've still got the rest of the island to go as well, but... I love this bridge. It fits in, you know, kind of what we did here with the, the little mini island. We're holding the nether portal. Now that the, the vines have grown and the bridge added, this grey does not look as prominent as it did before, um, you know, when we, we had built it up originally. It sort of takes it away and it actually works a lot better now. It fits nice and, you know, tidily into the, the hill. The palm trees, as I say, I'm loving. It's just a nice little added touch. And with the bridge, this is now complete, this little area here, and it's looking so cool. I love like, just a little, little, you know, design features we've added in so what i've done is i've got like the posts and then we've got the the fence running which i'm still not 100 sure of because it's very i mean i know it's minecraft it's square but i don't like i mean i like the curvature of the bridge but i don't like the curvature of the you know what's meant to be the rope i might have to work on that but it still looks really cool but like we've got the you know the posts connecting and the the rope sort of going in and then we've got like a little after connection as well so it just adds a bit of reinforcement to the bridge so you know it is, you know, fully reinforced on this side, and I've done the exact same if I just skip across the bridge here. You can see we've done the exact same on the other side as well. So I ripped out the lantern, it was here, and I've popped this here, and it just it just sort of completes it. So when you pop out of the portal, if you come through and pop out, then boom, you're straight on the bridge, and it looks really cool. And then as for the bridge, I just used um, lighter colours, so we've got birch and we've got oak going, and then I've gone through and I've actually replaced some of them just with the trapdoors. I think the trapdoors, on bridges like this, when I'm making bridges, I like to add trapdoors because it adds a bit of variety to the, the coloration, but also the texture of the bridge, so it's not just all one texture and colour. Um, and it also just breaks up a little bit as well, and I think it looks really cool. And then we've got a little bit just jutting out the side, so we actually have, you know, the, you could almost call, almost call these, like, little fences. Uh, well, they are fences, but you know what I mean, like, I don't know, a connection to the bridge. You know that the rope's almost connected to it, and that's what I kind of, I'm kind of aiming to say there. Um, but this is looking cool. I absolutely love this. And this is our bridge now finished as well. And this build is is complete, at least for this part, and it's come along so well in just, what, the half episode we've managed to, to actually record. And I'm loving this. I am absolutely loving this. And if this is what it's going to look like in the future, um, which is, <laughs> it's going to look so... Look at that. It looks so cool. I can't wait to get the rest of this island done. But... I'm going to have to stop there for today, guys. Yeah, I have run out of time. Um, so, we're going to have to wait till next episode to get the rest of this island done. Yeah, and that is my plan. As I say, this island that we are standing on is going to be terraformed to look like I've, I've stood in the wrong place here. Let me walk backwards and jump up the hill. There we go. It's going to be terraformed to look like that island and it, it's all going to look the exact same. Well, not obviously the exact same, but, you know, we're going to be using the same sort of layout, palette, design. And I actually always have a massive plan for what we're going to put in this island, hence why I cleared 
the area out. Yes, there's something we're going to be putting in the middle, but I'm not going to tell you about that. You're going to have to wait till the next episode to see that. So make sure you, you catch the next episode of the Cornerstone because it's going to be cool and I can't wait to get back on, get designing and get creating. Oh, I'm so excited um, just for what we're going to be doing in this area. Um, of course, the treehouse is going to come down. Oh, um, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get to it. I've got a lot of plans um, in the back of my head for how we're going to be able to connect that bit behind me down there up to something very cool. Um, we may not get done next episode, but hopefully we can. Um, if not, then it will be a future episode. But I am, oh my guys, I'm loving this. I can't wait to show you guys, you know, once we build what I have planned in my head. I just, I want to get out, I want to get a build. I just, you know, time is a factor. These are the things it is. Anyway, guys. Of me, enough of me rambling on. I'm going to end the episode here. If you have liked what you've seen, um, by always hit like button down below. And if you are new to my channel and this is your first time watching my videos, then please consider subscribing. That'd be really cool. It really helps me and really helps the channel grow as well. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. Have a nice day, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.